My name is Mark Griffith, and this is going to be a very brief introduction into buying options, or more specifically, going long in options. There are two main things to understand. First of all, with most, most kinds of trade, going long and going short are symmetrical. If you go long of five apples, it means you have five apples. If you go short of five apples, it means you have minus five apples. That is, you've sold some and you haven't yet obtained them. With options, it's different. Going short of options is very dangerous and is what's called becoming a writer. And going long of options is very safe and is like buying insurance premium. The simple way of looking at it is that if you go long of options, you are effectively buying an insurance contract. And if you go short in an options position, you are becoming the insurance company and your potential losses are unlimited. So the first thing you have to understand is most brokers won't let you go short. And you should be looking for an options contract, an options account, and you will explain to them that you only wish to have positions that are zero or larger than zero. You'll go long or you'll be flat at zero, but you're not going to go short. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're going to need to get used to three or four special terms, which at first can be a, a bit confusing. You have to keep in mind whether you're buying an option to sell or buying an option to buy something else at a certain price at a future date. So there's quite a few things to keep in your mind. If you buy a contract to buy, this is called a call. And if you buy a contract to sell, this is called a put. The price that you're building into the contract is called the strike price. And so you need to consider several different things. If you're buying a contract to buy gold at $1,000 an ounce and today it's trading $900 an ounce then you'll be buying a call it will be relatively cheap because it's more expensive than the market and it will have a date attached to it like next Christmas and there'll be four prices the $1,000 is the strike price the call decides whether you're buying the right to buy in this case it's a buy not sell, which would be a put. The date is, as I suggested, next Christmas. And then, of course, the option itself has a price. So you're going to have to get used to these terms and try not to get confused. Look at some prices, look at how options trade, and try to get used to the idea that you have a separate strike price and a price for the option that you're buying. And just get used to how they work. So, just to go over that again, a call is an option to buy, a put is an option to sell. Those options will have written into them a strike price, which is the price you're buying and selling at, and there'll be a future date. And the options themselves will have a price.